Welcome to the Shiner Lab. Our lab studies the parasites that cause toxoplasmosis and malaria, and we are really interested in the mechanism of cell biology in these parasites. Studying these mechanisms teaches us about how these pathogens cause disease and helps us find good targets for drug development. But it also gives us a fundamental insight into the exciting divergent cell biology that is found out there in our cellular world. We use an array of cutting-edge techniques, including cell culture, to grow and modify the pesticides, molecular biology tools like CRISPR-Cas9 to delete the genes so we can find out what they do or to tag proteins so we can isolate them. We also use biochemical techniques to understand how proteins complex work and microscopy techniques so we can see how the parasites and the protein inside them behave. Finally, we use omics so we can get the big picture of changes taking place within the parasites in response to drug treatment or gene manipulation. Training is a high priority for us, and the lab provides opportunity for skill development in academia and in industry through our many collaborations. We're excited to understand these parasites, firstly, because we're very curious about how cell biology changed to accommodate their unusual parasitic lifestyle. Uh, but also, of course, because they cause deadly diseases. Malaria kills hundreds of thousands of people in developing countries every year, uh, and toxoplasma can kill unborn babies uh, and people with a weak immune system. The aspect of cell biology which we're most focused on is a cellular compartment called the mitochondrion. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell because in most cells, including epicomplex and parasites, they are the source of energy. Mitochondria also provide other essential nutrients and are the mediators of cellular signaling. For this reason, mitochondria are very well studied in model organisms. So, why do we want to study the mitochondria in parasites? During its evolution, the parasite mitochondria became extremely reduced and divergent. This divergence means that fundamental processes, such as mitochondrial translation or the electron transport chain, are selectively sensitive to drugs, like the antimalarial atovaquone. We investigate the mechanistic changes resulting from these divergent features, which in turn informs the pipeline of drug discovery. Thank you for listening. Please visit our website or contact us for more details, and good luck in your new journey.